Hey guys, Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. For today I'm going to show you exactly how far a sample will go of Sweet Pickens milk paint as well as it's an Ikea hack and part of a video series we're doing for Eliza's Craft Center. We have a video already posted of the Ikea haul where I bought these and then the next couple days we'll get her desk done and she'll have her desk and arts and craft station all finished. To get started, I have two samples of milk paint because I'm doing two stools. I have completely coral and creamy, and I've mixed them together to make a light coral color. When you're mixing milk paint, it's one part milk paint to one part water. You want to make sure your water is warm and mix well. Sometimes I just like to use a plastic spoon and mix it up good and shake it. I always save all my leftover containers. This was a salsa container. I washed it out. I was able to mix it up and shake it really well, and then let it sit till the bubbles subside. I also added some extra bond. I didn't want it to chip everywhere, so I added a little bit of this. The directions say two part um, paint to one part extra bond, but I actually did four parts paint to one part extra bond, so that way it would still be kind of chippy. Okay, so with all IKEA furniture, you always want to go over and sand it just a little bit. These stools didn't have a ton of sealer, so I just lightly went over all the areas. Some of the areas still have the sealer on, and I'm hoping those are the parts that chip. I'm going to be using my round zipper brush and painting my milk paint on it. I have this brush on my website if you're interested, jamierayvintage.com. You can also pick up the milk paint there. With milk paint, you just want to do nice, even strokes. The first coat looks kind of splotchy but the second coat goes on nice and smooth. So we've got two coats of the milk paint on here and you know what we have about half left over so you could probably squeak away with using one milk paint package and then you would be good to go but I would suggest trying to just in case you need a little bit more coverage and depending on the color if it's lighter you're gonna go through more paint than if it's darker without dry time both coats took me about 30 minutes to put two coats on both stools, so not too bad time-wise. So the next step, we're gonna be distressing it. I'm using my orbital sandal with a good used piece of 220 sandpaper, and I'm just gonna go over and remove all the loose milk paint and kind of give it a distressed look. guys so the distressing is all finished I actually had to hand sand a few areas that my rotary or orbital sander couldn't get to and I've removed all the dust and I'm ready to seal when you go to seal over milk paint you can pretty much use anything to seal it with I like polyacrylic I think it holds up well but we also sell an oil wax and a wax on our page if you'd like to use those as well this I just spray out of my gun but you can also brush it if you have any questions about spraying polyacrylic or how to brush it on I've got some videos for that and I'll make sure Zeb includes the links Alright guys, our stools are all finished. To purchase the paint and products used today, go to www.jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.